Welcome back, everybody. This is Fiery Fire here with another TWLB broadcast between Sage versus Sweet. So let me go ahead and get this started. As both teams are just camping out, waiting to spawn on their respective sides. So right now, I wanted to bring up a matchup in the shark position. E2M versus Six Smoke. Long shark pairing for dice, you know, um, winners of like multiple LB pairs. So interesting to see how they match up because this is, I believe, Six Smoke told me that this is the first matchup between them on opposite teams for the first time in TWLB history. So, you know, if you want to see a good matchup within the game itself, look up for the, the 8 2 Sig matchup in the sharp position. It should be pretty interesting because both charts are really good. And, you know, especially when they're paired up, they're really great. So, yeah, and individually, you'll see how well they work with the uh, Padres to, you know, establish flag, pull, and push for the Terry Spider. So, initially, we'll see uh, if Mickey Six can out Terry Mickey. Mickey's been doing a great job, especially against. <laughs> against um, uh, Diaka, so it was, that was a great game. So definitely go check out that game where stubbed in at the end and really rallied them to victory. And it, was, it came down to like you know less than like a minute left, you know, to determine the ending for the game. So Mickey's, I want to see you know continue on with the big streak. He's been a great job, and I want to you know he's definitely becoming uh, quickly a favorite player of mine, a favorite terrier of mine because he's just been in tight situation. And you know, obviously right now we're seeing. Team close out. So early close out, nothing too competitive, nothing too exciting. So hopefully you know we'll see a rally or something more competitive in the meantime. Gazzo um, obviously coming off uh, MVP from last week with the uh, spider. So we'll see if he continues his streak and keeps us alive this week. And for some of the interviews, we're gonna you know, bring some of the sharks into the winning team because the shark is the most underrated position off the boss because you can never really MVP with the shark. You know, they should just make it away so if you get a kill factor into team kills and I don't know how many flag touches you have you just, you know, multiply that by the correlating factor to get MVP because you know, otherwise more people will be sharking because it's an important position. You have two good sharks, it definitely you know matches a lot of issues in the spider line and definitely in the carrier line. So but if you have everything working on also with strong carriers, strong sharks, strong spiders, then it's gonna make for a very you know tough scram to break. Kind of we're seeing that right now. With uh, Sage just kind of holding off sweet, you know, and definitely, you know, right now with the Warbirds attacking, it's definitely very hard to break the cramps with the Warbirds attacking the Warbird, you know, tanks or Maybe in the flag when they have to pull, but you know, definitely either five spies or you know, one jab, one jab, four spies. So we'll see if Brass can make things happen. Oh! <laughs> Shot rebounds and takes that win for the process. And we're seeing a good job push out, and there we go! Exactly that saying, so. You know, Rat Raxi definitely outplayed his uh, Warbird uh, and Spikey and, you know, pushed up through. So good job there. And we'll see, uh, we'll see the concept, uh, decisive battle because Raxi is a good base, uh, base uh, for, so to say. And so is Spikey. Uh, Spikey being one of the best. Uh, also being one of the best spies out there. So, but today being, I guess, being generous. Wanted to donate again to the, the foundation again. Saying, I'm going to play Warbird and, you know, not Spider and see if you know, I can win it that way as well. Or MVP it that way as well. So Mickey's doing a good job camping, you know, dropping off a good point, not being pushed out of cram. You know, um, staying between, you know, that, that little elbow right there and out of that. But the bomb, because that's very capable of what's going to happen, because I know with the like, 18, it's very capable of, uh, you know, the bomb at the same time. And, you know, sometimes if you don't have a shark or a rep to counter it, or someone like that spider to take it, it's going to go right through and just destroy the entire line. So your drum lines will be taken out and your cast and your carriers and you're wiped out in the process. Because they're EMP for like a few seconds. So, Mickey's trying to do whatever he can. Thick's doing a good job being aggressive, trying to push up with the spider line. And we're seeing a good job of a sweep. All they need to do is so a good job trying to push in, but sweep, what they need to do is maintain control, maintain position, okay? maintain flag control. Spider dodge in flag. Okay? Don't die, don't shoot unless you can either cause damage or cause them to dodge or kill. Okay, so that's a you know, good tip of mine just to stay alive. With MVP hunt, you know, a lot of MVP MVPs or you know, top spiders. You, know, you want to pick your, you pick your poison, you don't want to just spray unless you want to do a, a two shot, three shot spray, you kind of step the water. You know you want to like, blindly toss it there, but you know you're dodging all the time. You know, so, and you want to stay alive. So, it's kind of like the same principle because if you fire without, you know, cause, and you just aimlessly shoot, and, you know, you're shooting with the shark at full rep, wasting all your energy on three, three reps, and those reps are repping the other shark's reps. So, you know, you're just firing and wasting time. So, you want to, if the shark has full reps, you kind of want to wait, maybe shoot one just to kind of get him to fake. Start repping you know, one after another. Usually after one, start repping one. Oh, there we go. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. You know, uh, the, the aggressive shark uh, push and and uh, I expect to see a great shark battle because a lot of aggressive uh, shark bombs everywhere. <laughs> You're seeing like everything's flying. A lot of shot flying. A lot of bombs flying. Oh, Nim trying to do what he can. 
six mocha saying no, I don't got none of that here, so doing what he can, dying and pressure drop going, spawning right behind him and continuing the cycle and by the time uh, pressure drop uh, dies, six mocha is there to replace what he has lost and you know, repping him down so he can't get the flank on the bomb so he can, you know, right to the flag. MM. So good job right there preventing uh saving MM and Wimp right there for you know for preventing disaster. Disaster prevention squad right there. So Mickey's done a good job, you know, dropping off the right point, staying aggressive, he needs to get up top. You know, his spiders need to get up top, either like you know fully commit. If you see two spiders bottom right now and your and your terrier's camping up top, if you if you're trying to take under damage or dedicate the resources that they're doing it's not it's going it's not doing anything. So what, what they need to do right now, and good job. Uh, Terry just goes up top like what they did before uh, Mickey's Mickey, 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 gonna back off. So good job there, and right now it's a good job to hold off bottom, but you know, if sometimes if you have two spiders bottom, you can bring off all five spiders top and push them top and you can take control of everything. And you see Mickey stuck in a position that he's not normally faced in, in this game, uh, in the corner with the ears, so he's doing a good job, he's doing a good job trying to push out. Gazzo doing it! MVP leading the way, seen with the crown, so if he can do a back to back MVP spider, that would be pretty huge because both games are under uh, camera spotlight, so it's a little bit harder when they're on the spot spotlight, but this time, you know, good job with NL, you know, handling bottom, you know, you're, see you're gonna see him being destructive on an under bottom, so, you know, if NL, NL needs to dodge out of the way, uh, we'll just, you know, replace them and vice versa, and you see NL, NL uh, trigger, I'll just call him trigger, because NL doesn't roll off the tongue, I say that like 10 times fast, NL, NL. The trigger, you know, doing a good job right there, trying to delay the terror from pushing back in, so, MM, uh, pinning up top sacrifice, and pinning up flag, so, Back in position, uh, you know, save his front order back to the cramps. You need to do what they've got to do to push in cram again, again to try to push the cramps. Oh, it takes no, nah, no, no luck this time. Getting caught in the line of fire and dies out. Nympha uh, trying to do what he can, but does not. Not doing anything as uh, he's only a shark. A shark with no doubt. So, uh, Terry support is cat out of uh, I don't know. Can't do plot. Okay, they're kind of useless at the point. Um, Raspy doing what he can, trying to draw gas from fire. So, that. Oh, Spikey like says no, I don't think so. Raspy one shot him. Never seen him and H2M, so kind of ran right off the bottom. Um, tip for uh, spiders nowadays don't want often shoot the you know, sharks under, so but it's just a great strategy. You've seen a lot of teams before that, you know, definitely, you know, some stronger teams that want to be an LP contender, want to keep the shark alive as long as possible if they're a contending team against them. Because that means they have less grabs or you know, less respawn time for them to generate the additional grabs. Thanks for doing a good job, and that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two, and pep out.